Greetings! South Korea has the largest number of MMO gamers per capita. Because if you lived with the constant threat of a hostile nuclear power a couple of miles away, you'd probably want to avoid reality too. Which means Korea also leads the world in the number of MMO players who have played until they died of exhaustion. Yep, but Korea just keeps cranking out new MMOs, and here's one of them, RF Online. If there's one thing that most MMORPGs have in common, it's that they have too much in common. Most end up looking like a bastardized version of Lord of the Rings with some form of humans, trolls, and or elves. RF Online tries to set itself apart from the pack with its sci-fi setting, which is admittedly different. However, it doesn't quite avoid all the other MMO pitfalls. The RF in RF Online stands for Rising Force. I'm guessing this abbreviation was necessary because, let's face it, no one likes to say five-syllable phrases anymore. In RF Online, you can create a character from one of three races. The Akresha are a race of robots bent on, like every good robot should be, the total annihilation of all living beings. Hear that, you Honda Azimo designers? Sure, it's cute now while it's delivering a tray of meds to grandma, but mark my words, one morning you'll open the doors to your research lab and find a dead prostitute in an Azimo swearing she was like that when it picked her up. The Korra are a humanoid race that rely on summoned spirits to help them in battle. Kind of like my Uncle Randall. Only I'm pretty sure those were a different kind of spirits, and he usually used a bartender to help summon them. The Bellato are a stockier, tiny folk with an affinity for building mech suits and... Hey, wait just one second. They have pointy ears. I don't care what fancy name you give them. Pointy ears equals elves. All right, RF Online, I warned you, and I'm docking you a point. No derivative elves. The differences in races do make for some interesting gameplay, but you can't really experience it until you hit level 20 or 30. So, ladies and gentlemen, on your marks, get set, grind! Yes, hang on to your hats and glasses as you butcher your way through quest after quest of quota killing. If you think grinding sounds like a chore, then you'll really dig the riveting way you earn some coin. You mine. Not since EA's Paint Dry and College Paint Dry 2006 has there been such stellar stand in one place and do nothing action. Imagine how thrilled you'll be when you travel to the designated mining area, equip your trusty mining tool, but hold on kids, make sure you have enough batteries, and then wait patiently as ore slowly trickles into your inventory. Awesome. I haven't had this much fun since my last Paladin vs. Paladin duel in World of Warcraft. And to sweeten the pot, the developers allow you to walk away from your computer while this electrifying extraction is happening. The only real exciting side of mining is the giant PvP battle that happens nightly to decide which race controls the massive ore-rich cavern in the middle of the mining map. And guess what the victors win? The exclusive right to stand perfectly petrified in the cavern for hours and drill for ore. Overall, RF Online isn't a bad MMO. It's pretty to look at, and the PvP is fairly well done. Its biggest downfall is the overabundance of menial tasks. I get enough of that in real life, thanks. We give RF Online, let's see, minus one point for the unoriginal elves, another for how lame mining is, three out of five. MMOs are so addictively um, boring. Well, focusing all your energy on something that doesn't matter is... It's not like meditation. Yeah, but if there are more orcs in Buddhism, I would join.